When Harley leaves for school every morning, he will take about 10 minutes to say goodbye to Boulder. Throughout the whole day, Boulder will be sat at the top of the stairs waiting for Harley. The second he arrives back, Harley will run up the stairs and they give each other the biggest cuddle and kisses and that's when their afternoon adventures begin. They love to snuggle up on the sofa and watch a film, share popcorn together. Harley shares everything with Boulder. He'll sit next to Harley when he's eating his breakfast, lunch and dinner and he'll share all of the meals with Boulder. When Harley was born, Boulder would watch over Harley all the time. When Harley arrived, we introduced him very slowly. Boulder instantly loved him. From then on till now, they've had seven years together and their friendship just gets stronger each day. Harley loved to sit with Boulder at his desk, colouring in pictures, reading stories. That's you! Most days they would be dressing up as all different characters. Boulder loves the dress ups. He gets very excited when Harley dresses him up. He will happily sit there and smile away. It started with birthdays and now it was every kind of occasion. When Harley first started walking Boulder on the lead, he was only a couple years old with Harley because he was that much smaller than him. He had to be more gentle with him. He just allowed them to walk at slow pace together. When Harley first rode his bike, Boulder was there next to him. He's not that confident on his bike. We took Boulder and him out together and Boulder walked beside him as Harley rode along. It was really, really nice to see because having Boulder there made him feel that little bit more confident. Them two together just made a massive friendship. We get it all the time with people crossing the roads, walking in the opposite direction. I've even had someone pick up their dog before when me and Harley and Boulder have walked past. And it does really upset us because it's as if they think he's a monster when he's far from that. He's like a big baby, a big softy. He just wants love and affection all the time. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He's been, um, very gentle with me his whole life and that's why he's my best, best friend. Like, comment, and subscribe.